Right, and uh, this weekend we just witnessed the historic uh, uh, ruling by the Supreme Court and a lot of reactions have been coming in and the latest is coming from the UK where the Supreme Court decision to declare Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto duly elected as president and deputy president elicited mixed reactions from Kenyans living in the UK. Now while some expressed their dismay at the court verdict, others congratulated Kenyans for holding a peaceful election from UK's KTN's Acheno Ocheno. Now report. Are you satisfied with the Supreme Court's ruling? Before you came, I was shedding tears because I was so upset. But now, you can. I've come down a little bit to deal with this. It's really, really hurting to know that people can spend hours and hours on the queue. And then you end up with an answer that is not... It's not necessarily that we wanted Raila to win. No. We wanted a free and fair election. This is not free and fair. Um, I feel... Uh, personally that it's not fair for the other Kenyans because we still feel that elections were not free and fair and I also feel that um, there should have been a rerun of the elections so that we have a genuine um, result. And to the Prime Minister just know you are a hero and you and, and you will forever remain a hero in Kenya. Na Buddha to ko I believe the Supreme Court yesterday ruled right and its word is final so we as a people right now we need to put all our effort and all our support behind our president-elect Uru Kenyatta and hoping for a better tomorrow and a better future for Kenya, right? And uh, whether you are Jubilee or God, forget about it now. It is time to build a nation after five years, then we'll discuss about politics. Well, throughout this decision 2013 period, there has been a persistent call from different quarters for peace, nation building and unity in a country where people are so divided by political differences. And the message that I have received from people in the United Kingdom is that for President-elect Uhuru Kenyatta to unify Kenyans as one people in one country. Atieno Oteno reporting for KTN News from the UK.